Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are aiming for world domination and have several steps to achieving it, experts have claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently lying low in Canada, following stepping back from the royal family, but could come back with their own empire. According to the New York Magazine, Meghan saw the royal family as a stepping stone back into the game of self salesmanship she seemed briefly to leave behind. They claimed she inverted the Disney dream in being a princess ready to make her own empire after meeting her prince. The LMT channel spoke to experts about the royal couple's next steps in forging a new life for themselves and achieving their goal of being financially independent. Keep a low profile for a month or two. A PR specialist told the LMT channel, the couple need to keep a low profile until the news cycle exhausts itself. The PR guru advised the couple are caught in a hurricane at the moment and need to lie low until it dies down. The professional added, they need to roll out a month or two from now with some showing, not telling. However, it was pointed out that the Duke and Duchess should be wary of waiting too long to sort out their new image, as the time to monetize is now, and royalty is forever, but celebrity is not. Charity work which generates new photos. The PR advisor said the couple should next engage in an activity that creates a unique series of new photos, preferably involving some positive, leaning charity work. They added the couple should go do some Africa and elephants, and then feed the news with those pictures. The expert said that former actress Megan should have no trouble in this area, as she is skilled in feeding her online image. They said the suit star used to attend as many red carpet events as possible and post photos at home, and during philanthropic missions to update fans. Get back into Hollywood. According to the LMT channel, Megan is going to be keen to head back into the world of Hollywood if her Disney voiceover deal is anything to go by. It was announced that the Duchess will be doing the collaboration in exchange for a donation to Elephants Without Borders, an organization that helps to track and protect the animals from poaching. Even Netflix have expressed their interest in working with the couple, with Chief Content Officer Ted Sarandos saying, who wouldn't be interested? Yes, sure. Megan taking acting roles like Wonder Woman. With Hollywood in the midst of a streaming gold rush, and even smaller influencers making deals there off the power of their reach, one could easily see Markle taking any role she wants, like succeeding Gal Gadot as the next Wonder Woman. We speculated that the Duchess could do her acting from film, friendly, Vancouver, and Toronto, if she goes down this path. Earn millions on a tell-all interview. It was speculated by the LMT channel that Meghan and Harry could earn millions doing a tell-all interview on the royal family. They said the Queen was rumored to be nervous about this taking place when discussions took place for the Mexit agreement. A number of royal reporters have claimed they had been told the couple have no plans to do an interview in print or on television, but could this later change? Making documentaries with Oprah. Prince Harry already has plans for a six-part documentary on mental health in collaboration with Oprah Winfrey and Apple. And Meghan could go down a similar path with future projects. It has been speculated Meghan may be keen to make a documentary about causes close to her heart, such as women's empowerment. It has been confirmed by Nicole Nichols, chief spokesperson for the Oprah Winfrey Network, that Meghan and Harry are not in discussion for an interview at present. Holiday Home in Whistler Rumors are circling about the couple being keen to find a home in the picturesque Alpine Resort of Whistler so they can enjoy winter. They are currently staying on quiet Vancouver Island, which locals have dubbed a spot for the newlywed. The couple have been living there 
after they said they will split their time between the UK and North America. Archie sent to boarding school. Harry and Meghan's friend Jane Goodall said Harry desperately wants Lil Archie to grow up away from all the pomp and royalty. The New York Times magazine speculated whether part of the couple's plan to heading into Hollywood could involve sending their kids to a Canadian boarding school. This would follow in the footsteps of now disgraced Prince Andrew, who attended a private school in Ontario, Canada, for six months in 1977. In other news, Prince Harry misses his UK pals and uses a WhatsApp group to send them funny videos from Canada, it has been claimed today. The Duke of Sussex is settling into his new home in North America, having flown there two weeks ago after securing Mexit. But Harry is keeping in touch with friends back in England, despite dramatically announcing he had no other option than to step down as a senior royal. An insider said, Harry misses his friends, of course anyone would. But he has been in WhatsApp group with his mates for years, and he uses that more than ever now to keep in touch and send pictures. The group are always sharing funny video clips they find as well. Harry doesn't think being on the other side of the world means that he will lose touch with the people he has been mates with all his life. The dad had remained in the UK to sit down with the Queen, thrashing out details of how he and his family would step back from royal life before he flew out to Vancouver Island to join Meghan and baby Archie just two weeks ago. It comes despite claims Harry pushed aside some of his friends after marrying Meghan Markle. The move reportedly pulled Harry away from former close friends, including Guy Kelly and Tom and Laura Inskip. Tom Inskip, Harry's childhood friend, was banished after advising the royal not to marry Meghan, Tatler magazine reported last year. Another reported casualty is Guy Kelly, with a source telling the LMT channel. It's all part of Meghan's quiet airbrushing out of Harry's old posse. She doesn't want temptation of any sort being put in his way while they concentrate on starting a family. Both Mr. Inskip and Mr. Kelly were at the couple's wedding at Windsor. But a source claimed just last month the Queen's grandson had gradually been pulling back from his mates to the point where most of them don't have his mobile number anymore. Prince Harry is now working on his next steps after he and Meghan quit as royals and moved to Canada. The source said, Harry is mindful that everyone is waiting to see what he and Meghan do next, and he wants this to be a really transformational year for them all as a family. First, he wants to make this year's Invictus Games the best ever. In years gone by, he has had to juggle his royal duties with planning the games. But now he can just focus on the games which he is loving. He is able to be even more hands-on than usual and really wants to put his mark on the way it looks and feels. He also plans to be at a lot more events than he has been able to get to in the past, which he is looking forward to. The couple have also been already building their own brand, Sussex Royal, as attention turns to what they will next do after leaving the UK. Meghan has already reportedly signed a voiceover deal with Disney in return for a donation to a wildlife charity, a dig that Prince Harry was filmed touting for at the Lion King premiere. The couple are currently holed up in their Canadian mansion, with around-the-clock protection. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.